the agenda of this tutorial is to go with AWS FIS service that is fault injection service and we'll go, we'll understand about this service and we'll go with some practical demonstrate demonstration okay so let's quickly go ahead, right so before jumping into AWS FIS uh, let's understand what is this chaos engineering right so chaos engineering is basically a process of testing distributing distributed computing system to ensure that it can withstand with unexpected disruption <clears throat> so basically let's take an example we have one distributed system or maybe with some uh, with let's take an example of some system right and in chaos engineering we actually try to deliberately put some unexpected conditions onto that system and then we'll see like how that system is actually behaving under that circumstances right whether that application will withstand with that particular condition or what is exact behavior of that application right so this is what chaos engineering is right so basically chaos engineering help us to discover any loopholes in our application so that system may need some additional monitoring and alarming to actually see i mean where that's i mean why that system is not behaving with with the actual state it has to be right so let's go ahead and jump on to this aws fis so amazon fall injection simulator is fully managed chaos service using which we can put some we can inject some fault onto aws services so that we can see we can improve performance observability observability and resiliency of that particular application right so this is the FIA, fis tool right let's go ahead so here in this fis uh, service we need to create some experiments right so we create some experiment right and in that experiment we need to define like what all are the actions right what we need to do right and we need to define some targets so targets are the aws services like ec2 rds correct so we can put some we can inject some faults into these services right and once we have that experiment template ready then we need to actually run that experiment and we need to monitor and we need to see the we can see the results from the cloud watch right okay so let's quickly jump to demo okay so before demo there is some prerequisite one is uh, i created one demo instance right in the ec2 section i created one demo instance and if you go and if I copy this address or oh, I think I already copied this let me run this so you will find that this uh, response is coming right so this is one of the prerequisites because in FIS demo we will going to perform two type of injection one is to stop this particular instance EC2 instance and other one is we need we will stop one of the ECS task and for about how to set up ECS I already created one of the video you will find that link in the description of this video right you can go through that and you can learn about that ECS how to create cluster and all that right so to I mean requisite is to create this instance and also create one of the ECS cluster right and just run some service right so this is a container let me just show you just show you so here if you see this is a demo cluster and there's one service and two tasks are running right and this this is the basically a sample demo nginx container that i want to that right so if you see these uh, ip are changing that means the request is coming from these different tasks right so as a part of fis experiment we'll try to stop one of the tasks and we'll see the how that application is behaving right this is one of the thing we are going to demonstrate in this right 
and one more uh, prerequisite that we need to create a specific role for this FIS service. So if you see uh, here, <coughs> let me go to roles. So if I search for FIS, you will see this is a role that I created. So this is the custom policy, right? If I go and see the custom policy, uh, this is the JSON where we define like what all services that FIA ha FIS has to access, right? So this is one is like for EC2 and some are for, for the ECS, right? So these are all for the RDS as well, right? So this is there. So I have already put those permissions onto this file. I mean, onto this GitHub repo. I'll put that link in the description. So these this is the json right and the other one is for the trust relationship right this one this you have to put put over here right and this trust relationship you have to put fas amazon aws .com, right so once you create this role you are going to use this role in while doing your experiment right so let's quickly jump and create an experiment uh, to for the EC2 first, right? But, uh, FIS EC2 experiment. So, as I mentioned, we need to put some action, right? EC2 stop stands, right? And let's search EC2, you will find this stop instance right so target remains same so let's suppose after one minute we just want that to be restart that particular instance right and the target and in the target let's save this and in the target let's edit this and search for that instance this is a demo instance one right okay so i'm selecting so it doesn't matter like all because there's only single instance if you filter by some uh, tags then there might be some more instances and then you can in that group you can define like how many instances you want to do perform I mean, you want to stop in this experiment right so let me just save this right so this save and the I am role and whatever role we have created right so just select that so send to CloudWatch and for CloudWatch I already have a group that I created. Let's put that group. It's very easy to create a log group and CloudWatch, right? So let's take and create experiment quickly, right? Experiment is created, right? So now we need to execute the experiment, right? So if I if we go Let's go back to EC2 first because now we are performing the EC2 experiment, correct? So let's go quickly to EC2 and just see our instances running state, right? Let me run this experiment, right? So let me right, start, right? So now if you see the experiment is initiating, right? So if I go right now, the instance is running because the experiment is in the running state, right? so see it has gone because it is in a stop state so that means now let's run the application so eventually what happens our application will not respond because we are directly accessing this instance right so that means our application is not resilient enough to for this particular unexpected condition right so let's suppose somehow if the instance goes down then our application is not behaving or it is not in their actual state right because see it's not we will not able to connect to this right so this is one of the one of the ec2 experiment let's move to the ecs experiment right so let's first move to ecs okay and you see if that particular experiment is 
this is the experiment right so this is the experiment that we just this is in the running state because actually the server needs to be so it's completed right so if i go and see it is completed right action was completed correct now let's create a new experiment for this so let me call this cluster okay create an experiment support data fis ecs demo okay so let me put this in the name and under the action what i am putting is top task right so let me stop task ecs stop task maybe you can also do the drain of the instances maybe if you have 50 instances you can or maybe if you have five instances of five tasks you can specify like how many you want to drain right this one if you want to add multiple action and you want to specify after which action this action has to be you can add multiple action and then you specify the ordering of that right so let me save this and in the in this targets we can define the uh, cluster name let's suppose this is a cluster okay and this is the service name right this is the demo and the service name is uh, okay so this is the service name right so what i going to do let's suppose first of all i'm going to do stopping one instance at a time right of this service of this service right put give the condition nothing send to this put the same log group and just create the experiment and create okay now let's see this is working right because we have one let's just start the experiment when we started the experiment you will see right uh, task let's see the state of the task right ideally one has to go right and so if you see okay so only this has to happen this is okay uh, the cluster not found okay might be i mistakenly put some plus to code add add demo cluster right code code add demo cluster maybe i have put some wrong or maybe i can copy the air and works. okay let's copy this go back so this is how can you can investigate the things right so if i go to experiment templates and code add fis experiment just click on update go to edit and okay sorry i went to I need to go to ECS experiment, right? So this is the ECS experiment. Okay, so let's update that. Go to task, edit. Okay, so this is the cluster, right? So this is a demo cluster, and this is a service, right? So now as one, right? Just update this. Okay, update and put that update okay and start the experiment start that should work okay let's go and see the task okay the task okay okay so this is under running state so ideally this has to go away one task has to go see, see this happens right? so one task has gone right still our application is working right because it is serving from the same instance that means our application is really resilient enough 
to handle this kind of scenario right so this has happened and now if you see so one is under i mean one is in stop and one is under pending because in the ecs we mentioned that we need a two desired task right so that is why the one is stopped and still one is running right it's in pending state and our application is still performing well right so this this is the basically the funda of the fis service to do some unexpected things and test i mean how our application is behaving right so let's give some time now so see this is completed and our if we go and see the ecs so it's in running state right so ideally 157 and ip has to change right so see now that is working right so when one of the instance goes down still the request is serving right thank you for watching this and do like share and comment and give your thoughts and we'll try to make more videos around aws and the others coding stuff right thank you guys have a nice day